Welcome to another episode of Beyond the White Book. I'm Dark Notch. Oh man, we're so official now. We just gotta welcome to another episode of. <laughs> That's Aaron Glazer. That's you think... who I am. <laughs> we are going to play the Greyjoy Banner of the Sun. If you would like to see that be built, um, check other videos on the page. Aaron's actually going to do the clicking this time because his power gamer tendencies makes him go crazy if he doesn't. I, I'm a very nice and patient person. <laughs> as long as he's the one doing the clicky. <laughs> Alright, I don't use the setup window, which you guys can't see anyway, I'm assuming. Right, so just share your, your hand. Visibility to dark much? I am almost certainly keeping this. I've got an Iron Fleet Scout, the King's Road, a Bastard Daughter. I've got a nice four card setup. Well, you can set up a little bird on the Bastard Daughter too. Just yes. why not? We've got a nice five card setup, which I think means we keep it. Yes. Yeah, I hear five card setups is, are good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, we're only using six gold, huh? <laughs> okay, no complaints. Yep. Uh, we're playing apparently a Targ Lion, which is going to affect how we do things. Here we go, Balon in the opening with a Sea Tower. Wow. So This is pretty sexy. <laughs> yeah. We've got a We Do Not Sew, a Seal of the Hand, a Ariane Martel, Sea Tower, I Island Fishmonger, Theon, and Balon. He's got Cal Drogo and a dragon. So just for the, the viewers, actually because of where I'm sitting, the, the side that I'm on for this is the side of the opponent. So it looks like Aaron's playing Targ, but really he's playing a cross. So his cards are the Greyjoy Martell ones, obviously. I think we open with Noble Cause. Yeah, we want to get that, that Balon out. Um... And we need some claim check because he's got two militaries coming in. If he's got a put or something, we got to be careful here. So do we want to open Balon then? Do we want to calm and just build? Because we can play Balon either way. We no. don't have calm. Never mind. Yeah, I was about to say we don't have calm. Um, Our plots for people starting to join us are Noble Cause, Calling the Banners, Confiscation, Summons, Sneak Attack, Marched, and Rise. So we are certainly starting Noble Cause, yes? I think we start Noble Cause, yeah. We get Balon out and another couple characters if we can. Yep, as much as we can. Yeah. So for the listeners, that last warship break can really do a number on economy. So depending on who goes first here in the challenge phase, we may nail the Westerlands, or we may wait to see if he gets a... Uh, King's Road. Well, we get to choose who goes first, which means I assume we make the opponent first. You know, I'm not 100% sure here with two military challenges. Um, and uh, Iron Fleet Scout. And the Iron Fleet Scout, we may actually want to go first. Um, if I'm he, good either way. If he has a milk, we're going to be pretty sad. Yeah, I think because of the milk, let's let him go first. That's a good point. He'll be like, what? Great joy making me first? <laughs> yes. With a, with a Iron Fleet Scout out. And a lot of support ship, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's draw our cards. What did we get? Seems like a solid idea. It's like Christmas. Every draw phase. A gold, a... Another We Do Not Sow. We Do Not Sows are not a bad thing for, uh, against this particular opposing deck. Um, do we hit his economy now? No. He's got enough gold, and he's got a noble cause. He can play whatever he wants. We're waiting to see if he plays a king's word. Or a more useful location. Right. Like a plaza. Which was, the argument I would have said was exactly what you said, that he has got a ton of gold. Uh, I think what we want to do is just prevent a plaza from wiping our board. Oh, well, we can't kneel plaza. Plaza is three. We would have to be first. Player. That was a reason to go first, however. 
Oh yeah, that's right. I, for, I actually forgot that that text was uh, focused on going first to get the three costers. Mm -hmm. It should he decide to start play the plaza before we can, we do not sew it. That's the point where we start to change how we play. Yeah. These two militaries are dangerous, but not terrifying if he doesn't play another military character. Although if he does intrigue, he has a goal to ambush a fountain. Or he can make that not a concern for us. That works too. Yeah, well, I think we have to really worry about a put at this point. Uh, it is a possibility that he has a put that we must be aware of. That is absolutely accurate. We can get to six for a military. He can push a military at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He can't win a military by five or more. Right. So let's uh, let's put out our reducers. So we got two of them. We got an Iron Island Fishmonger and the oh. uh, Sea Tower. Begin with playing the Sea Tower and then kneeling it for the Fishmonger. That sounds good to me. And let's pop our King's Road. Yeah. We probably should have done that sooner. We were busy discussing. Well, if he's going to tear treachery, he would have treachery no matter when we did it. Well, no, we could have done it before. We could have just done it during his marshal. Uh, he, right, but he counted gold first. Like, there was... he, he Oh, before he had a lord. I see what you're saying. Before he, he brought, played uh, Tyrion. Is what negative you three. Did. Here's negative four. Negative five, six. We are playing Balon Greyjoy for three. We now have enough gold to play Theon or get a seal on Balon. Or play Arianne, which can then bounce Theon in later. True. I think I'd rather stand, uh, stand Balon, no? No, Arianne might be the right. I'd rather, I think I'd rather stand Balon than any of that. Well, the one good thing about having Arianne is we might be able to get, like, we're going to have to go a little bit defensive here with the militaries, right? We have to watch that. Arianne would block the intrigue, which she's almost going to definitely lead with. Arianne with... cannot block the intrigue. She's going to be stealth. Stealth. Okay, sorry. We can block the entry because without it, he'll get it on a post. Because our shipwright will be able to block. So it'll reduce his power gain by one, basically, is the advantage here. Um, Seal. But we would have a standing Balon for our own challenges. And we do have uses does have for enough the... to throw two five strength challenges at us. I think it has to be Theon. Because he has enough to throw two five frame chal five frame challenges with him. Okay, Although so we can we can chump block one for enough to you know. Never mind. The the what you call it makes that not matter as much. The seal we could stand with the seal. I think I think your your seal is uh, the right way to go. It also leaves us gold to threaten a to of the sword, which should be a fear. Yeah. He has. So we're definitely gonna go seal. I think so, and we can use the we do not sew to blow up one of his locations. Well, his one location, but yeah, yeah since we have two. So far. All right. So we are done? We are done. Not 100% that was the right move. I don't think Arianne was. I think Theon might have been. You thought Theon and saving the one gold for the We Do Not So? Yeah, but I'm not 100% sure. I think in our first game with the deck, seeing how this plays is a solid enough idea. Our uh, first military plane will almost certainly be the bastard daughter, yes? Oh yeah, we'll get that card out of his hand. Looks like he's throwing the military at us for seven. Yeah. Um, so he doesn't currently have enough gold for the put. So, so we don't. since he only has one gold, we just defend with the bastard daughter? That's my interpretation, yeah. Do you see anything else that I'm missing? No, I feel like you just made a misplay and I need to take advantage. Okay. Yeah. Defend? Yep. Uh, let's give him a minute for reactions.
of course we remember he's the trigger of the bastard's daughter, so he's gonna have to discard a random card. And let's see what we're about to get here. Again, discarding cards is like Christmas. And as I do for love. Not a bad get. That's a that's a good get right now, actually. Could have got rid of well, we still have a lot of little claim soak, so it wouldn't have been a huge issue, but uh, he's not winning a military challenge at this point unless he has a trip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You might have like a widow's whale or something. Great. Right. Well we could still win. We have a plus one strength one. Yes, yeah. He should win an intrigue. He should not be that concerned at us to need an entry. But if he is, I'm not really going to complain, either. Uh, might, not wanna, might not want to do the trade. I think yeah. he realized he missed the order up, yeah. <laughs> entry. Plus two gold. If we just let it go up post so we can win an entry ourselves, correct? Yeah. Well, he's going to stealth it anyways, I mean... And he'll win. And we want power on his house, so, yeah. Should we tell him to take his two gold? No, probably not. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to let him go for it. So, I'm going to say unopposed. Yep. Got the little bird. It's a little annoying. Oh, that's too Hopefully bad. Hopefully he can see if here's a list. He did take the gold a little late. We'll let it go. He did see a tears on very sad. Yeah, if he tears for super sad. Okay, our challenges? Um, all of them unopposed is great, so... So let's... we start with a military? Yeah. Uh, but no, I can't... think we start with an intrigue, right? No, we don't want to give him the extra gold in case he has a hound. Make sense? I do agree with the the logic behind that. I'm just... What else can he jump in that can affect Balon? Nothing that I know. Nothing. He's missing the one gold. Yeah, all right. So, military? Military and power with Balon. Are we using that? Um, we do not sell? I would think so, right? We'll just slow down his economy. We mm -hmm. have two. Um... Same reason as before. Mm -hmm. Oh, did he? Yeah, he did take it. Good. So we get one off the house, one unopposed, and one for Balon. Yep, I got a super pump up. Got away with it. Okay. Power, unopposed. Balon. And now we entry, correct? Yep. Absolutely. And if he has the hound, he probably jumps him in anyways. Mm -hmm. Just to pay for him. Yep. Six power, turn one. Not a thing I'm sneezing at. Randomly discards the hound. He's another misplay. Because if he had it, he would have played it. But it actually proves that your play earlier was the, the correct play, for sure. Okay. I think so it's the correct play regardless if he had it in hand or right. not, though. Um, it's like he did have it. Yep. Yeah. Keeping an eye on your opponent's gold and knowing what they can and can't ambush is super key in this game. So uh, Aaron keeping his eye out at the gold was key there. But for some reason, in my mind, I still had him at one gold because he had forgotten the trigger time, but I, of course he had remembered after. So, um, I think we sneak attack. Um, I, I have a question. Yes. If we go f first on a rise, can we win? No. Because he only has one power. We would get... Yeah, two we would two get on Balon, one on Theon... So we'd have three. 
one from his house, four, and then two unopposed for another four for eight. So he'd only be at 14. 12. 13. Oh, no, we're yeah. at six. That'd be 14. 14. Yeah, 14 is not 15. Nope. Uh, however, if we are careful to gain another power and then we rise, we do. Yeah, right? so... Yeah. So we, I think we sneak attack, so we only have one challenge to worry about. We can first guarantee ourselves that power. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. I think that's a, a good way of going forward here. Okay, so let's sneak attack. Oh, wait, we're not going to be able to do that because he confiscates that silly. Mm -hmm. so, so he's still first, however, right? Uh, yeah, he's still going to be uh, first. Uh, we're going to go first, right? I No, I said, wait, what? I said Why him first. Because we need to defend. He drew too late. Okay. I said yes, you said yes, so I said... No, it's all good, it's all good. It's Sorry. Deal. Let's draw our cards. Hey, second DM. Dupes are nice. And a confinement, which is also... Yeah, the confinement on Tyrion is going to be really nice. <laughs> yes. Keep that extra gold he might be counting on. Generate. And the one bonus of him going first here is that if he doesn't play out any other intrigues, we don't have to worry about getting you know, more intrigue defense out, because we'll just confine it and be happy with that. So yeah, I think something we might want to start doing, and I think we should start now, is guessing what plot our opponent's doing. Because when I actually play... I, said, I thought he was going to come to this He plays the plaza. Now I do wish we were first. Oh, well. Argo? He's probably done. Nope, another loyalist. That's a little annoying. So hoping we get some good stuff to claim, but when we're going to get Chubb. Alright, I think I do want to play Ariane because I want that extra power. If we could afford both. I don't think we can. You want the extra power? Defense. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think we do. We, we play we, Ariane. I'd rather play Soak with the M. Well, we got... So he's got two military... We play the gold either way, right? Yeah, play the gold. He's got the two military plus the power kill. So I agree. With three claim, we have to be able to sack all of them plus the dupe on Theon. We have to play Theon. So I can... Double reduce him if you want. I should double reduce him because we'd like to keep we do not so. Yeah. So that's wait, that only plays that plays him for two gold. We're fine playing Yeah, we want ooh. It uh Lieutenant Grimm is gone again, so we should wait a second to see if he comes back. We are certainly playing Theon with the double deal. Double deal, excuse me. For three gold, leaving us with two enough for... Com okay. So the plan here is to reduce by one. We want to keep our power icon up just for chump blocking. I don't so, know if we can. so we want to reduce by two because we need to save... Oh, we have five, so reducing yep. by one does save us two. Okay. Sorry, I'm bad at math sometimes. Yep. So we can leave the power icon standing. So we use... We sit with two gold. We yep. play the amp. Correct. And do both. Oh, And our first action will be to shut down uh, the Lannister boy. Three challenge actions. All right. Confiscation on Theon. Yep. Gets rid of his stealth and his entry. Confinement, not confiscation. Confiscation, please excuse. Looks like it went off. I'm not seeing the hand's judgment here. And he's got no gold to do it, so it doesn't matter.
We're also going to get unopposed entry if we keep that character alive. If we can keep that character alive. We're going to find out if he overcome Mr. Bow. He overcome Mr. Bow. Uh, Lieutenant Grimm is gone again. Seems to be having a lot of uh, internet issues. He just said there's storms there. So. Yeah, it depends how much he really wants to get off the plaza. Um, if he can, he get off. Can he force a plaza off and still actually get that military? Is the question. This is if it. He can, we're still relatively safe. It's going to be tough for him to get both the power and two military through. Agreed. Although he does have the chump for the power, which is going to be annoying. There's his chump power. I think so, we just block with him. No, we just block with our chump and pump our chump. Pump him good. up. Really good play, Mr. Andrews. And, you know, if he's got a cry, he's got no gold to use it, so yay. <laughs> stopping the on uh, yeah, stopping tagging with Tyrion. Like you, sir. Really good play, though. Well done. He can military with everything on Earth he wants. We can actually just let him impose and use Duke. Yep. And really excited to blow up that plaza, by the way. Like, it's making me giddy happy. I think we take a military claim, yes? Keep his yeah, board down? Yeah, I, I think we do. Yeah. Depending on what, like, it, we'll see what he attacks with. If we have to take intrigue, we have to take intrigue. <laughs> Although that... Mm -hmm. He has no intrigue, so we don't have to worry about that. We get free intrigue. Hooray. We only get one challenge. Yes, that's right. Very so good I'd point. I prefer the military to intrigue. But I would be willing to take intrigue, should it come to that. Yep. Or we could do power and then just try to swoop the wind. We could let something go unopposed here so that he has two power on his house. I'd rather not lose two military unopposed, but agreed. All right. I think if he commits to the first one, we can give it to him unopposed because he doesn't have gold for put, killing the dupe. And then mm -hmm. after that, we can consider. Then if he pushes the rest of his military, we can actually block with Balon and just use Theon with the stealth to push through that last military. That's exactly what I was thinking. But we have to have patience while he decides how to do this. He chooses a military for cheap. Do we just just shut this one down? This is the one we have to let go, right? No, 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 because he can win the second one by overcommitting. So we just stop this one since we can. Then we can't win. Oh, we ought, we can still win the power challenge. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Or the intrigue, whatever we want. Let's let's shut this down. Which I should type instead of saying. And this will actually force him to make a decision whether he wants to use Cal and then get stealthed. Exactly. For an unopposed or not. Yeah. We're in downtime. Mm. This is second military. That's unopposed, correct? Yeah, the world's just stealth cow. Oh, he's changed his mind. He's realized that that might not be the best play. With the stealth out there. Oh, just be a power and then he gets the Okay, that's also fine. He wants the renown. Unopposed? Yeah. I mean, we can't even win, so... The dupe, correct? Oh, yes. I think so. He plays a... Barracks will be sad. Please no, no, we won't win that here. We are winning a power challenge, by the way. Think so? What will that put us at? That'll put us at one on Theon, one for unopposed, two off his house, so we'll be six, seven... Four. We'll be at eleven power. Eleven. Yeah, I think we just win the power challenge here. I think we just... We can probably win next round. Oh, 
disconnected again. But sweet. Yeah. This deck seems to be handling quite well. We haven't really used any of the Martell characters, really, but uh, the Greyjoy made... side is and... doing good. <laughs> and he made two missed points. We used one Martell character, took care of the things I do for a while. Yeah. And we, the event paid off big for us. You do not so? So. It's about to pay off again. No, not the, we don't know. So the Martell event, the uh, confinement. Oh, very true. Very it, true. It, really, it probably did big work for us here. I think uh, relying on that two gold uh, can sometimes get people really off, uh, off-centered when they don't get it. So, informing him of where we are in the challenge. response let's kill us some plaza yep let's get the on some power and then we take three yep all right we are done dominance to our opponent so I'm correct in thinking we just rise here and just need to win a power challenge to win the game, right? With our Renown yes. and Theon? That is accurate. Okay. Hopefully we get to go first. And hopefully he doesn't have Dracarys, because that would be sad. <laughs> yes, it could be extremely sad. It would basically restart the game at that point. Although, uh, we would, no, yeah. we would have first action. Our first action would actually be to, to buff. Uh, it, it's only negative four. He'd still be alive. It just would. Yeah. Uh, and he's got a bit. Hmm. But we, he could trick Harris Theon to stop the wind, so we'd actually probably have first action and use the boat um, on Theon. On Theon. Yeah. Just a lot of good I'm sorry for all the outages, uh, you know, viewers, but I guess the thunderstorm is playing havoc with his power and his computer and uh, his internet. These are things that happen when you play. You just be patient with your opponents. It's yeah. generally the kinder option. Well, you just realize it's not their fault. I mean, you can't control the weather. If he could, that'd be cool, though. <laughs> Come on, Aaron, that was a little funny. You could laugh or... Uh, By the way, people, that's not a forced laugh, Marion. That's actually how he laughs. It's it's awkward in public. Uh, I, his computer, his internet might just be down at this point. We'll give him another minute here, and then uh, it, it consider is. the whole thing a win for us and move on. Nine Eastern Standard Time. If he's not back by nine thirty, we call. Oh. Do you want to do one more? Yeah, we will find another opponent and try we'll recording it again. Fight, then we will find another opponent. Yeah. Remember, uh, answers. When your wife says, stop playing, stop playing. Damn right. I think he's probably gone, gone this time. Yeah, I agree. Okay, let's call it. 